From ancient times, Africans have looked to the skies. Today, that tradition continues as African astronomers use new technologies to peer ever deeper into the universe. Africa, Continent of Opportunity for Astronomical Research Part 3, Africa in the Radio Universe Most wavelengths, or colors, of light are invisible to our eyes. Yet each wavelength gives us a different view of the cosmos. All are needed to understand our evolving universe. Radio waves are invisible light at the low energy extreme. Radio astronomy is critical to the study of our cosmic origins. Light from the birth of the first stars and galaxies, emitted when the universe was very young, is stretched by the expansion of space to longer wavelengths and lower energies that we observe as radio waves today. These faint radio signals are becoming harder and harder to detect because of all the noise we generate from radar, cell phones, and other electronic gadgets. South Africa's Astronomy Geographic Advantage Act establishes 12.5 million hectares, or 31 million acres, or the area of a square 220 miles on each side, as an astronomy reserve with guaranteed low radio noise to protect the future of radio astronomy in Africa. The CAT-7 radio array, located in the Karoo region in the reserve, tests new technologies designed and built in South Africa that are needed to detect the faint radio signals from the infant universe. CAT-7 is part of the Meerkat project, a planned 64 telescope array that will be the largest, most sensitive radio telescope in the southern hemisphere. Scientists operate the telescopes remotely from the Meerkat engineering office in Cape Town using live webcam links to monitor the telescopes and objects in the sky. Galaxy NGC 3109 CAT-7 is sensitive to radio signals from hydrogen atoms in space. Those signals tell us where hydrogen gas resides in galaxies and how fast it is moving. CAT-7 found that hydrogen gas, the green contours in this galaxy, 4.3 million light years away, extends too far out and is moving too fast to be held to the galaxy by stars and gas alone. It needs gravity from something else. We call this something dark matter. Meerkat astronomers will study ultra-dense stars or pulsars to test Einstein's theory of gravity, explore the structure and dynamics of our galaxy, the Milky Way, study radio emissions from cosmic explosions, supernovae, gamma-ray bursters, Explore the structure of the infant universe and how it evolves. Probe the nature of cold gas, young galaxies, dark matter, and dark energy across cosmic time. The precision array for probing the epoch of reionization, or paper, also on the reserve, consists of the first 64 radio receivers of thousands planned that will work together to search for faint radio signals from the birth of the first stars. Radio astronomy belongs to all of Africa. It promotes education and collaboration across the entire continent. Students and scientists from Botswana, Ghana, Kenya, Madagascar, Mauritius, Mozambique, Namibia, Zambia, and South Africa, as well as countries outside of Africa, meet annually to learn and discuss the results of their research. The International Astronomical Union or IAU, recognized astronomy's potential to inspire, educate, and stimulate development of innovative technologies. In 2011, IAU established the International Office of Astronomy for Development under the direction of Dr. Kevin Govender at the South African Astronomical Observatory near Cape Town, South Africa. Its vision, Astronomy for a Better World.